So good morning, good afternoon, good evening and welcome back to another review from Roy's Reviews and today we're looking at a tank review, yes. Today we are having a look at the Vapefly Core RTA and as the camera wants to play, there it is there and it's sitting on top of the V-Zone um, Cultura 100 watt mod. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it down below, have an unboxing of it, see what's in the box, put a wee build in there using bill burn coils, using the coily tool to measure the legs, um, get it waked up, come back up again and tell you my thoughts on it. So see you down below. So here we are down at the table and we're looking at the Vape Fly Core RTA. So let's go right quickly around the box. It's got a Vape Fly, it's got a picture of the RTA on the top by Vape Fly and German 103. On this side, it's got the Core RTA, stylish outside, savage inside. On this side, we've got Vape Fly with www.vapefly.net. And on the back, it has got all the details. It's got the features, the powerful Q airflow system delivery, excellent flavour, a cloud monster without heat, super easy cloud for single or dual coil, 2 mil capacity compliant TPD and a 4 mil bubble class for choice. Now, I have been asked not to read all these things out in the back of it, but I just felt this one's actually a little bit funny not to read out, so she'll read it out. German 103 who is German 103 team? German 103 design team is organised by Martin Hartnoff and Vapefly. Martin is a professional in vaping and reviewing vaping gears for many years, known as Dump Wolf. He always wanted to communicate it to the vaping community for people's healthy and better experience. So he called up a group of people who are enthusiastic in vaping and have the same aim to search vapors needs and think out great ideas to create a better atomizer. They are 103 members in this group. Almost all the members come from German. So he called German 103. <laughs> So that's a little bit about who German 103 is. It's also got the vape fly technology on there. It's got the scratch and stiff, it says authenticity, all your little warnings down at the bottom made in China and the barcode. Take off the top sleeve and you've got the white vape fly box inside with the vape fly on there. Nothing else on it. Open up the box and then you're greeted with the RTA itself. Now, Going by the new TPD laws, the bubble glass probably will not be inside. Well, definitely won't be inside. But we have the bubble glass, which is the 4mm capacity. And we also have the RTA itself. So just pop that onto there for now. Onto the Dilly Gaff Addy stand, folks. If you haven't got one, the link to Steve's page will be down below where you can actually then purchase those. Take out the foam. Underneath this little cover, we then have a little user manual on the Vape Fly with all the different colours you can get on there. As you can see, I have the stainless steel one, and it tells you in different languages how to use it. The different components, how to open the tools, where the airflow is, etc. It's got the German 103 member list. So it's got all 103 members of the German member list on there. And on the back of it, it tells you the exact same thing, only in German. And then you have your little bag of spares. So you've got your plug there if you want to do the single coil, all your O-rings and top seals and grub screws. And you also get your little screwdriver as well with it and you get some vape laces and these are called vape fly fire bolt cotton that's all it's in there okay so having a look at this little um, RTA I do like the look of this 
I do like the look of it a lot. Um, starting at the top, then you've got the coned shaped mouthpiece with the drip tip sitting on top. It is an 810 drip tip that fits into it. Doesn't have an o-ring around the outside, but it's sealed with the o-ring in the inside there. The top cap is knurled slightly for better grip to take it off. And I just love the way it's coned up. On here, you have a huge gasket that runs the whole way around there to stop any leaks. And then it takes you to the top cap. Now, what I would like to say is the fill ports here aren't as big as I probably would have liked to see them, just width-wise. It's quite fiddly getting you know, some of the bigger nib bottles, getting them into there. Because you've also just got the plates there and there from the kidney-shaped airports, and you can see down into the coiled bottom. Okay, so take to the side just for a moment. Take the glass off. As you can see, the design that's on here is printed on. It's not actually um, engraved out like on the FP where it has knurling on it. So the design is just, it is just for design purposes. I'm just going to put the bubble glass onto there for now because it's slightly better. More juice. And here we have the deck itself. Okay, back onto Steve's stand. Quite an interesting deck. It is a little bit like the Kylan, etc., with the uh, honeycomb airflow on both sides. Air goes up into there and comes up to the underneath of the coils. It's a shared post system for dual coiling, which is held down with little clamps, gold plated clamps. You just screw I'm setting the camera crazy here. Just screw, put the screw down, just screw the clamps down onto it rather than having them in the inside. Don't know how well the camera's going to pick this up, but the clamp actually comes down onto the coil, so you clamp the coil down onto the base of the plate there. Inter interesting sign of it. And then you have got your wicking ports. Now, instead of having maybe four separate holes for wicking ports, you've just got one big one at this side and one big one at that side. So the wicking goes down and comes, just drops down to there. The airflow, time to take it off this again. The airflow, is, you can have it huge wide open like that and it goes all the way down. Now it locks off you hear that solidness doesn't go all the way around and at both sides and it's the same whatever you do at one side is the same at the other side on here you've got the core and core on that side as well and then underneath you've got core your trademarks your don't vape in the bin and design by design 103 from germany and manufactured by Vapely, Vape, Vapefly. And again, it's two flathead screwdriver, screwdrivers, two flathead screws that operate the clamps. So what I'm going to do, folks, I'm just going to get a build quickly put into this, and it's going to be with Bill Burns coils. So I'll just put it onto there to keep it steady for when I'm doing it, building it. I'm going to use set of these from Bill, if the camera would like to focus in on them. Probably not, because it's shiny. There we go, Tricore um, N80s, stainless steel 316, 0.26 per coil. Okay, let's just get these out and also, what I'll be doing to measure the coils, I'll be using this again, which is the coily tool. And the easy way to measure it is just by putting the coil or the coily tool over the edge of the posts 
and if you can see these are reading out at 5 millimeter. So we'll cut these coils at 5 millimeters. And if you haven't seen how to use the quality tool before, I have done a video on how to do it, but I shall quickly show you now. It's as simple as once you've measured your coil, put the legs into the size that you desire, desire to have, in this case 5 millimeter. Take your snips and snip and then snip. That's one done and you just do exactly the same with your second coil in at five millimeters. Hold it down, clip and clip and you get the coils in. So while I put these coils in, um, enjoy a wee bit of music and I'll be back with you very shortly. Okay, for cotton today I'm going to use some of this stuff, which is Breeze Cotton, um, which is the cotton from Australia, and it tells you in the back of it that it's Breeze Cotton. It comes in these, this packet, um, as strips, a bit like Muji Cotton, um, I would say it is a little bit like Muji, already, although it's really pre-cut for you. And they say if it's three millimeters, you use that. If it's 2.5 millimeters, then you need to strip um, part of it off. So it's the top layer. Take that one off. And that off. And then you cut it in half because it says one strip we'll use one, one strip, or half a strip per coil. Supposed to help cut down on waste. We'll take it over in half, and then just cut it with scissors. So, quickly twist, pinch and twist. Does fin just nice and nice and snug when you do it like that? And the second one.
And then all you want to do is because you're taking it down to feed into there and just go to the edge of the RTA snip them off to the edge snip them off fluff up the ends this will become nice and fibrous same on this side and then just feed it down into the wicking ports as such. Now you just want to make sure that the wicking ports are have got enough in them to they're all covered and no gaping holes through otherwise you're going to end up with leaks coming into the the tank. So this is the same on this side. Feed them in Nice and tidy. Making sure your cotton also is clear of the threading that goes around the outside, round there. Because if you have cotton on your threading, then it's going to end up catching on it. And then all you need to do is wick it up and juice up the tank. Okay, so today I'm using some of this rhubarb and custard from the e -Sig shop in Andrew or the Antrim e -Sig shop, there we go. There'll be a full review on this original rib, ruby custard, which is basically rhubarb custard. Okay, just onto the coils. Making sure it's well soaked in. Wigging process. And last but not least, put the cap onto it and then top up the tank. So, while this is just finishing off, folks, I shall see you up top in a mo. So welcome back up again folks and there we have it you know this that is the um, core RTA by Vapefly. What I think of it flavor wise yeah it's a really good tank not the best tank out there that I've ever tried but it's really really good flavor. Um, in here I've got some rhubarb and custard from the e -Sig, Antrim e -Sig shop um, fantastic offer on there at the moment, two for 16 quid. Get yourself along there, get yourself onto online, etc. I'll pop their Facebook link down below. Um, yeah, so it's the bubble glass that's on this at the moment, which is not TPT compliant. You do get the TPT compliant um, straight glass, which keeps it at the two mil. Things I love about this, I do love the shape of the top cap. Um, you know, this top cap, wet sort of, swoops up and it's got a slight knurl on it so you can grab it to fill it. Um, the fill holes probably could have been a wee bit bigger but hey oh it's only a little gripe. Um, the fully adjustable airflow on it is good. Plenty and plenty of vapour production. That's it on half open, open the airflow fully and becomes a very airy, very airy tank. Which ups your um, vapour production absolutely loads, but you do tend to lose your bottom, your, your sort of bottom note flavours. You don't, they tend to go away. And then if you take it right down to restricted, restricted, so right down, as you can see, I don't know if you can make that out there. It's right all the way down. So very tight, tight draw. 
So if you wanted to, you probably could get away with motor lung in this. If that's what you took your fancy. Um, but direct long hitting and probably best flavour that I found on it after trying this for that's about what two weeks now I've been trying it um, is absolutely fantastic the flavour on it is good um, again with this has been apple um, rhubarb custard it's given me all the notes there it's not as good as a dripper then again tanks normally aren't but vape fly yeah, I'd give you a 9 out of 10. Definitely a 9 out of 10. So, if you've liked my review, folks, you know what to do. Give me a wee thumbs up. And down below there, give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to me, give me a wee subscribe. Every number's help. And um, if you haven't liked it and you drop me a wee thumbs down, well, that's fine too. And up here, somewhere across the top, there will be a link back to a previous review. And down below here, there will be a link to my subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to me. And uh, we will see you next time. So it just leaves me to say, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you've been watching this review, take care now. Bye. <laughs>